Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Fighting Formations, Gross Deutschland Division's Battle for Kharkov. This is designed by Brian R. Van Nortwick, and is the expansion for Chad Jensen's Fighting Formations, Gross Deutschland Infantry Division, um, also from G&D Games. So this one is in print right now. The base game is currently out of print, but so you can get this one. Probably pick up a copy of Fighting Formations on the second-hand market. Um, and uh, I suggest you check Consum Marketplace on Facebook or um, eBay. Or if you absolutely have to, you can go to Board Game Gulag uh, and maybe find a copy there. So anyway, let's crack it open see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. And click the bell. One ringy dingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one expands, like I said, the, the base game. It does include uh, 10 new scenarios, but it also includes some shorter scenarios and has some smaller maps than the original, which is very helpful for those who have a smaller game table. Um, so let's begin. And as an expansion, of course, you will need the base game. This is not a standalone game. So, start with, we have the Fighting Formations Gross Deutschland Division's Battle for Kharkov Playbook. And this has your scenarios. This is a 24-page book. And the scenarios, it goes straight into the scenarios here. Introduction, you got some historical notes. And then, bam, scenario 11. So, the main game was scenarios 1 through 10. This is scenarios, I would assume, 11 through 20. Um, yep, and there's 20 right there. So that's pretty cool. Full color. Like I said, 24 pages. It guides you right through the setup. And how to how to uh, use orders of battle and any special rules. So now we have a extra sheet of counters, some additional vehicles. Um, because you I guess you may need more than what came in the base game, or there may be some new newer than what game in the base game. So anyway, you get a half sheet here, counters. All right. Then we get a barrage table here. We get two and melee tables. So these are revised, I guess, for new units or they're just, they're just updated because this is the, this is the melee table. And the original game has a melee table too, so this is either updated for new units or updated for new results. But I'm sure that is covered in the rules as to when you use this one versus that one. So you get two copies of that on the solid, on the glossy, thick cardstock. And then we have our maps. So let's take a look at what we get here. Do, 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 do. All right, so the first map, well, I'll do them in order here. Map number 10 is, this is a full map. If full, by full, I mean 34 by 22 map. See the terrain on it. And this is map 10. And on the other side is map 12. All right, and then we've got map 13. Another full size map. I was going to see everything that's on every map, but you're going to see enough of what you need to see, to see what you can see. And now map 16.
And I assume since this is a for a historical battle, these are roughly historical locations in their design. Here we got a. I like how they mark on here like where like Soviet reinforcements go and the setup areas and so on and so forth. So it's easy to when you're setting up, you can just go right to it. So if I have to go with this hex is this. There we got some little villages. It's map 17. Fields. Rivers. All right, now looks like we've got a couple of smaller map sheets. And this is really cool because the hexes are the same size, but they you know, allow you to set up and play a smaller battle. And these are the, uh, these would be 22 by 17 maps. And so here is map number nine. And this is map number 11. Big lake. So I like that they did that. Uh, in, the, in the base game, they have one map that, one large map that actually has two maps, one on each half. And so you still, like, they got this whole map. And so it was nice that they went ahead and had enough to go ahead and just produce a more manageable size paper map. It's pretty cool. All right, this is 14. This is another also smaller map. Some tiered terrain here. And a big field. And some red stars. All right. So that is what we've got by way of maps. So if you pick up a copy of Fighting Formations, Großdeutschland Division's Battle for Kharkov by GMT Games, you are going to get two 22 by 17 map sheets, three more 34 by 22 map sheets, double-sided, both, both, all both sizes, two copies of the double-sided uh, melee, melee barrage table, one for each player, a half sheet of counters, and the Battle for Kharkov playbook with 10 new missions to supplement the base game. So that is everything that is inside. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!